Hi, this is Raymond from EV Offer and Impact. Today we want to show you our electric front system. Um, so we have our 2020 Model 3 with us today. Um, so uh, for Model 3, we have three different versions. Uh, this is the 2020 before uh, system. And we, besides this one, we also have a 2021 system. Uh, and they have what we call the variant B and variant C. Uh, the variant B is for pre-July 20 and 21 model and the variant C is for post-July 20 and 21 made in China model so we will talk about the difference later so let me try to do a demonstration of our system right now so let me try to open it from my app so you can see I can do the opening and closing from my app And actually there is a difference between a 2020 or before and the 2021 or after Model 3 model. The latch of the Tesla is different. So in this car, you can see when it's doing the latching and unlatching, there's only one sound. You can see one unlatch sound and then it goes up. And when it goes down, it goes down and then they do a single latching. Um, so you can only hear one sound. But if you have a 2021 model, you can hear pop pop and then go up uh, and then when it goes down it will do a double latch you can hear two click to go all the way down so this is the OEM latch design so uh, so please note that uh, if you have a 20, 2021 model the opening and closing effect will be slightly different uh, it will do double unlatching and double latching uh, that's an OEM latch uh, difference so but other than that the opening and closing effect should be should look the same as the one that we demonstrated so uh, you can you have already seen how i do the app opening and closing uh actually you can do the uh, touch screen opening and closing uh you can do the key for opening and closing if you have one and uh so that's the basic uh opening and closing uh method but uh, for the closing we have two additional way so if i use the button to do the closing so you can close and let me try to also demonstrate the entire page so it's very soft you can stop it right away um, so this is one way to close it and the second way to close it is just pull it down uh, very softly and when you hear a beep just let it go and then it will do the remaining for you um, so let me try to talk about more about our system our difference uh, uh, between us uh, and our competitors so uh, the first thing is our control unit for the our ECU for the front system is uh, completely waterproof. Uh, some of our competitors has a waterproof design, but I think most of them do not have this design. So what they are still doing is they use a, a, a plastic bag to wrap around the the the, uh, the ECU to do a basic waterproofing. But that is actually not reliable. Uh, this area from Model Three is prone to water. Uh, water can easily go inside so uh, our system is completely waterproof so the next difference is the test screen closing uh, although most of the systems right now have test screen closing but we found that some of the system uh, the way they do the test screen closing is different for our system uh, our front will always uh, the test screen always show the correct front status so when the front is open it will show the front is open and uh, when the front is closed, uh, it will show the front as closed. But for some system, uh, when the front is open, they will actually uh, make the front display to show the front as closed. Uh, of course, we don't know the reason why they do it, um, but uh, this is how the system behaves. And that poses a big risk because uh, if the front is really open, but your front, your touch screen is showing the front is closed, it is a big problem because you don't really know if your front is actually closed or not and that can pose a big risk and your front can fry up uh, when you're driving if it's actually not closed so this is the second thing uh, which lead me to talk about the landing check feature our system do have a landing check feature and uh, let me try to show you what a system without a landing check looks like for this system we 
uh, demonstrating right now, it doesn't have a landing check feature. The landing check feature for now, we have it on our 2021 Model 3. Uh, but for 2020 or before model, uh, we do not have the landing check yet, but we will soon uh, introduce it in our uh, system. Uh, but let me try to demonstrate what the problem is. So uh, let me try to close the, the front right now. So if the front is fully loaded and something is blocking the way, you can hear there is a click sound. So what that click sound is, is that your, your, your factory latch is trying to do the latching. But what they're trying to do is to hook this, what they're trying is to hook this down. But this one is set free because it's not hooked by the latch. So your car actually think the front is closed, but it is actually not. So let me try to walk you to the car and see what happened. Uh, so you can see what happened right now. So when the front is actually opened, you can see here, it show the front is closed. So uh, what happened is uh, the system was trying to hook the hood in, but it did not catch the striker, what we call the striker. So uh, your 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 system, uh, the car system actually think the front is closed, but uh, of course it's obviously not. So um, um, when it happened, when you start driving, you don't know the front is actually not hooked by the latch. And then you start driving and the front will Will, will the, the hood will fly up. So this is a big risk, uh, but we do have a landing check system in our 2021 Model 3. So in our Mark 4 uh, system, we all introduced the landing check feature. So if such case happen, our system can detect it and it will not do the complete latching. So you can still, still see the front uh, is open instead of closed. So you will get the warning uh, when you start driving uh, that the front is open so you can take care of this scenario. So this is one big feature that we implemented uh, in early 2021. So um, it is a big advantage of our system. So the last uh, difference is also a safety uh, thing uh, that we, uh, uh, we do in our system is how we control the, uh, the front opening and closing, the way we control it. Uh, I want to emphasize that uh, our system do not know how to open the front. Uh, what I mean is that our system have no capability to do the front unlatch. So uh, our, a lot of people concerned what if the front open while driving. I want to tell you that our, our system do not know how to do it. Our system do not know how to do the unlatching. So unless the factory unlatch the lock, uh, our system will not know how to do it. So the way our system operates is we listen to the unlatch signal. So whenever we hear the unlatch signal from the factory, then we will do the opening. And if we hear the signal, we will do the closing and do the latching. But we do not know how to do the unlatch. But we do see that some system, they they use their control unit to 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 do the unlatch uh, uh, unlatch mechanism. They bypass the factory and control the 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 latch themselves. So this actually do pose a big risk because you don't know how reliable the control unit is. The Tesla system they design a lot of safety feature to uh, before they do the unlatching. For example, if the car is moving. Uh, the factory uh, latch will not open the front, but uh, you don't know how the ECU, uh, the third party ECU is designed. You don't know how many preventive measures they do. So if they take over the control of the unlatching mechanism, that will be very dangerous, I would say. So uh, I want to emphasize that our system don't have this feature. Uh, we, Our system depends on the factory. Yeah, if the factory do the unlatch, uh, we open up the hood. Uh, if they don't, we don't, don't do anything. So this is basically uh, what our system looks like. So that's basically our front system. Uh, for Mark 3, we don't have the landing check feature, but we will soon introduce it. For Mark 4 or above, uh, we have the landing check. So uh, I hope you like our video and know, about, know more about our system. Uh, if you are interested in purchasing one, you can uh, browse on our website, uh, evoffer.com. Uh, I hope you like our video. Thank you.